What's going on? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can use a local storage for your website or your web app. If you don't know what local storage is, is that is um, you can store data in your browser so you can have local data and then you can use it later. So I'm going to work here with a very simple example, but I think from here you can understand and you can use it and go crazy. So here I have a simple text field, as you can see here, and I can write whatever I want. So my goal is every time I write something here, I want this text to change. And then if I save it, I can reload the page a hundred times and it's going to stay there, the same text. It's like you're saving that in your browser and you're never going to lose it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the HTML here. As you can see, very simple. I just have one input. It's just an input text. I added some classes so you can we use, can use it later with JavaScript. There is just a regular paragraph. It's the text here. And then a button that is just to save the local storage. All right. I have my JavaScript file totally empty right now. So I am want to start adding some code. So right now, Let's start by adding some uh, variables. So I'm going to do const. Let's call this the storage input. You can call it whatever you want. Um, storage input. This is the input text that we're going to use. This is going to be equal to document query selector. Dot query selector is right here. And this is a class of storage, so we can use that. So storage. All right. Um, let's close this so we can have a little bit more space. OK, let's create another variable for the text, just the regular text. So let's do const. Uh, let's call it text equals to same thing. Document dot query selector. And this class is text. All right. And I'm going to create another one for the button. So let's call it button. You can call it whatever you want. Remember. Query selector, same thing. And this one is button. All right. I think we're good for now. We're going to add another one later, but let's make sure this is actually working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an event a listener that is listening to this input. And every time I write something, this text is going to change. So let's see if that works. All I have to do is get this input. So let's say storage input dot add event listener. And this is going to be input. And here I'm going to use a fat arrow function. So um, let's do letter. This can be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be um, a letter, but I don't know. For me, it makes sense. Um, every letter that I write, the value will change. All right. So now what we're going to what we want to do, we want to change the text every time we write. So let's do text, which is this variable up here that we created. I want to change the text inside that. So text content is equal to whatever I write. So how do I get that? We go to letter, which is this right here, dot target dot value. And this is how we get that specific value. All right. Now, I want to make sure this works. So let's save this and let's see if it actually really works. All right. Let's see here. Hello, world. And there you go. It's that simple. So I know if you're confused about this, like little letter target value, let's console log something. Let's console lock letter. Let's see how that looks. All 
all right and here you go so it's going to give you the input event if i open this and i keep scrolling 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 you will see target if you open target you can keep scrolling and at some point you will see value and you can see value is the h so right now if i console lock all this event um, letter target value i'm going to save that let's take a look at this yep so every time i put a new letter the value is updating right so now our value is this one and that's all i want that's this is perfect all right so i hope that um helps you understand what the letter dot target dot value is coming from all right i'm gonna remove the console log okay so now i'm gonna create the function to every time we click save whatever is here is going to get saved to our local storage so let's go ahead and say const uh, let's call it save to local storage this function you can name it whatever you want all right i'm going to do the same thing fat arrow function and here i'm going to do this local storage just like that dot set item all right and this is actually how you save something to local storage now what do we want to save all right some quotes and this is the name of that specific um, local storage that you want to save whatever you want to save here i'm going to call it text input it can be whatever you want comma and what's the value of that what do you want to save so i want to save text dot which is this text right here text content that's all i need it's just only a, it's a string it's just text all right now that we have that function we need to use it when i click the save button so let's go uh let's go down here and let's say button at event listener this one is going to be a click and what do we going to do after that click we're going to do a function wish function save to local storage which we already have here all right so i'm going to save that hopefully that works so i'm going to write something here hello world i'm gonna click save all right and nothing happened how do we know that this works where is this local storage where is it so op open your inspector and if you go here you can see that you have application go to application and here we go so you'll see local storage session storage so open local storage open the that specific domain mine's local host right now and here you can see text input and the value is hello world so what i'm going to do to test it i'm just going to change it to hello you or something like that i don't know i'm going to click save and now it changed to hello you so now that's our value so let's reload this page and you can see we'll still have that local storage the hello you is there so we can use it so right now we save that and we can use it remember every time you do something and click the save is going to replace it but if you really reload the page it's going to be there so we can use it so what i want to do every time i go to this page i want this text to be whatever is in here if only exist so if is true if we have that local storage called text input put it here if we don't then nothing happens so i'm gonna go and create a variable up here const store it input is going to be equal to local storage dot get item all right this is how we get something from local storage 
Okay. Now, what's the name? Is text input. And here you go. So right now, I have that local storage. I mean, I have that variable. And now I want to say, okay, if that variable exists, put it there. So I'm going to do a quick if statement. So I'm going to say if storage input. And this is going to be, this is, this is just saying like if storage input is true, right? Then do this text dot text content equals to what? To storage input. All right, let's save that. Whoops, sorry, it's not storage input. I hope you saw that. It's stored, sorry, stored input. All right, let's save that now. And now you can see we have the hello. Let's change it to hello world save. You can see hello world. We can reload the page and we have the hello world there forever, okay? Until you remove the data or you can actually do it with JavaScript. Um, you can remove the local storage. Um, you can delete the data from your um, browser and then it's not there. Or you can replace it. I can say hello. I'm gonna save it. There's hello now. I can reload the page a hundred times and we still have the hello. So this is kind of starting, um, you can do a to-do list. I don't know, a, your own local grocery list. Um, you can use this for a lot of things, okay? It doesn't have to be only one regular string like this. It can be a whole object um, with a bunch of data. Um, I think the limit is like five megabytes that you can have. So I hope this helps to get you started and get you creative. And that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.